hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel and welcome to a new video in today's video i'm actually going to do another canva tutorial i know my last canva tutorial on how to create kids animation videos did really really well so i want to do another one but i want to focus a little bit more on youtube shorts and how to create really simple kids animation educational videos head over to my laptop and i'm going to show you how to create these videos so let's get started so this is my channel so it's a baby and toddler learning educational channel and as you can see i've got quite a few videos on here i haven't actually been that consistent with my videos but you can see on this video it had 3.1k views and this one is is in the 500 views so some of them are like slow burners you create them and sometimes they don't get many views but then after a while the views do build up and add up with the right keywords and the right thumbnails so i'm just going to head over to canva now Okay, so you want to go over to the home page and you want to create a new document so you're going to type in youtube i mean you can type in youtube video but i would personally type in youtube shorts because then it will give you the correct dimension for the video okay so then you're just going to click on youtube shorts so the correct dimension will come up here and then you're just going to click on that so now you've got your dimensions to make a youtube short video you can also obviously post these on instagram and tiktok as well so you want to go to elements and you want to pick a theme so i'm just going to go for animals because that's the most kid like theme i can think of so if you type in kids animals it comes up with really like cartoony like kid friendly animals which is what i like to do so then there's a whole selection of different animals you can choose from um canva have so so many graphics on here which is why i love it so much so once you've picked your theme and you've selected your animals i'm just going to go for maybe like a spring theme um, just for something simple to show you so I think I'm going to use this bumblebee here um, to start with so if you want to make the bumblebee or whatever animal you've chosen to move across the page I'm going to show you how to do it so you want to go to animate they've got all these pre-made uh, movements on here that you can use which are really cool too you can also use these animations for texts so you just want to have a play around and find one that you like that suits whatever animation you've chosen. I quite like to use this one which is Wiggle which I think is really cute. Um, so I use this one sometimes on my animation videos. So I like to use this Wiggle movement. I think this is really cute for kids animation videos. You can also change the intensity which is really cool to make it wiggle more or less depending on how you want your character to move. So to get the character to move across the page or to anywhere you want within the video, you want to go to animate and then create animation as shown here. So you want to click on that. And then what you want to do is you actually have to drag the character across the page. So I'm just going to show you now how to do that. So I'm just using my mouse and I'm just dragging the character across the page in whatever direction or where I want the character to go. And then as you can see, it then creates that path for the character to move around across the page. You can do this as many times as you want um, until obviously you get the movement that you want. And um, what's also really cool is you can also adjust the speed so you can do it faster or slower depending on obviously your video and what you would like. So there really is some cool elements you can use on Canva which is why I really like it. It's very simple to use. You can also add things like rotate, flicker, pulse, wiggle, um, as well as obviously your movement that you created yourself. Now, if you wanted to delete that path and do another one, you can just press delete path and then start again. So you want to start the character where you want the character to start, if that makes sense on the page. Because um, if you put it in the middle, the pathway will start within the middle of the page. So if you want your character to come into the page, you have to start the character at the end of the page, if that makes sense. So I think I'm quite happy with that little pathway. And I think I'm going to make the bee land on a flower um, and add some like other springtime sort of elements to the video. So I'm just going to click on flower. You always want to go on elements and then flower. So I think I might use this one. Um, and kind of make the bee sort of land on the flower so i also want to maybe give the flower an animation so go on to animate and then choose whichever one you could have a pop or a swipe up or a blur or whatever one you think is appropriate for the video um, and then again you can adjust the speed to this as well i'm just going to do this one because i think this probably looks the best 
So now I'm just going to play this section and then you've got the flower popping up and the bee moving as well towards the flower. So I think that's pretty good. Okay, so then I'm just going to fast forward and do a bit of adjusting here, just on the size and just making sure it's how I want it. So I've got a couple of base elements, so now I just want to add in some other elements, some spring style elements. So I want to add a background, so I'm going to type in sky background, and there's lots of lots of options you can choose from. I kind of want a, quite a bold cartoony looking one, if I can find one. So I think I'm just going to go for this one and then I'm going to click the three dots and then go to set image as background and then it sets the background for me. So I'm just going to play the video again with the background and that looks really really good. So I think I'm happy with that background so I think I'm going to stick with that for now. So I want to add some dimension to the background so I'm just going to type in cartoon clouds just to give the background some dimension and a bit more of a 3D effect. So I'm just going to go and pop some clouds within the video here. So I think I'm just going to do three and kind of maybe just adjust the sizes. Now I feel like if you want to animate the clouds, I think I need a bit of movement in the clouds. So I'm just going to go to animate again and just use one of these pre-made sort of movements to make it the clouds move. So every, every element in the video has got a bit of movement going on. So I think these sort of pan effect movements are probably the best for clouds. I kind of want a bit more of a natural movement. So I'm just going to use pan movement and just adjust the speed so it comes in a lot slower. So it's like it's sort of drifting in. There is actually a effect called drift, which I'm going to be using too. So I'm just going to put these on the clouds so they look like they're just slowly moving in the sky. And I think this looks really cute. So this is what it looks like so far all together. And I am pretty happy with how that looks so far. Okay, so I think I'm going to add some more bugs in this video as it's spring. So I'm going to put a butterfly. So I'm just going to type in butterfly. Um, ideally, I want a fluttering butterfly. So I think that will look better once I put the movement on it. So they have loads of options of still butterflies. But I quite like this one because it's got a flutter already. You can just type in flutter or fluttering butterfly and the options will come up. Um, I didn't find there was a huge amount of options, so I think I'm just going to go for that original butterfly that I saw. I think that will be fine and fit the video really well. So then we've got our butterfly on the page, so then you can adjust the size um, how you want it. So I want it kind of more of a natural size. Um, I want the bee to sort of be bigger than the butterfly. So then you want to go over and click animate. And then you can create your own path for your next element. So so I think I'm going to do just the butterfly sort of coming and landing on the flower. I think that would be quite sweet. So I'm going to just do that and then here we have it all together. So the butterfly and the bee sort of going towards the flower. So if you're not sure the exact element you want on the video but you kind of know a theme, I'm just going to type in spring and just show you because some options will come up to give you some ideas of what to put in the video. Like this sun I thought was really cute and fit the video theme so i'm just going to put the sun in there it's got a little cute smiley face which is nice and kid friendly too um so i'm going to put that in there too just for another element to the video so i'm just going to add in i think some grass at the bottom and some other little extra flowers to give it that real spring kind of feel to the video um, and add in some more colors and some more images because obviously we're creating a video for kids so bold colours and bold images are key to these sort of videos. So I'm just going to have a scroll at the graphics and just see what else I can add to the video. You just want to basically have a scroll on your graphics and just see what other elements you can add to your video. You don't want to overdo it but also you want to make your video obviously as bright and as bold as possible. Um, so I think just adding some nice colours and some flowers and just layering the elements on top of each other I think is the way to go. Um, so I just want to add some text in here. So I found this Hello Spring graphic and I think this looks really cute and goes with the sort of colours that I want in the video. Um, so I'm just going to play around with this um, where I want it positioned within the video. And again you can animate the text too. So I'm just going to go over to animate and just find one that I think suits the text. It doesn't really matter too much that it's overlapping the animals. I kind of want it so it's kind of things going on in the background and the text popping up like so and i'm just going to play it all together just to make sure i like all of the elements together and i think i'm happy with that i think it looks very very cute 
So let's just play it all together so you can see the final results so far. And again, this did not take long at all. I'm happy with that, it looks really cute. And you can also add some cute spring music or you can add a voiceover. I would recommend if you are gonna use audio to use from YouTube Studio if you're posted on YouTube, just so you don't get any copyright claims. Um, it's just the easiest thing to do. So now I'm just gonna carry on sort of adding elements to my video. So I picked out this little ladybird and I'm just gonna try and sort of bulk it up a little bit and make it really, you know, springtime and really cutesy. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this now. So this is the start of the video, so then you can actually add another page, which will then obviously add another section to the video. You just go to add page here at the bottom. So if you want to add another page, just click add page and then this will just kind of run seamlessly as one video. So what I think I want to do for this page is maybe add and um, pop different bugs on different pages and maybe write, you know, what bug is this? Because again, this is an educational or learning video. So you want to create videos that are going to aid learning. So I just want to put like a bug here and maybe write what bug is this for whoever's watching to answer like a little quiz or something like that. Um, so I'm going to do something like that. So again, it's really very simple. So I've just got this ladybird that is actually on the front page. I already used this. And then you just simply put what bug is this with a text. And then again, just adjust the size and the text, what style of text, what font. You can do all this. If you see this little bar that just comes up at the top where you've got the animate button, you've also got text button so you can change the font of the text, color of the text, you can add shadow, everything like that you can do very simply. So again, I'm just going to animate the ladybird a little bit just so it has a bit of movement on this page. Okay, so you just want to play around with it and um, just choose whatever movement you think suits whatever element you've got on the page best. And again, like I said, you can also use the same animations for text. Um, you can do pop up or fade, fade in, fade out, pan, all of those things are on here that you can use. So look, as I said, this little bar at the top um, is on canvas sans at the moment. So I just want to choose a different sort of text. Um, I like to use similar ones for kids videos, very kiddy, um, bold and you know more like cartoony sort of text and um, I quite like this one lemonade display is probably my favourite one to use so I'm just going to use the lemonade display for this text on this page and then I want to lift the words off the page so it has a bit of dimension and a bit of you know 3D sort of look to the text so it's not too flat on the video. And then I want to change the colour, you don't have to do this, you can just keep the text black, but if you wanted to change the colour, you just go over to the little A where it's got the colour bar underneath it, and then you just pick whatever colour you would like the text to be in. I think I'm just going to stick with yellow for this one, um, but as you can see, it kind of fades into the background a little bit, the yellow, so I actually want to add an outline to the text. Um, so if you just go over to that top bar, and you just want to add an outline you can do this very easily um, so you just want to go to the effects button and then you want to go to outline and then you can also adjust the thickness and what color you would like the outline so I'm just going to go for black so it stands out on the page this now looks so much better on the page and also I'm just going to add in some animation to the wording too to give this a bit more interest so again just go through these and just pick which one is best just have a play around um, and just see what suits it best you don't have to pick the first one you know just go through and see what suits your text and your video best so I'm just going to go along and find one that I think is the best for this video um, again you can change the intensity at the bottom with this little tab which is really cool and I think I like this so far so I'm just going to go back over to elements and I want to choose a background for this page so I'm going to type in maybe grass 
uh, background so it's got a nice like grassy looking background at the back because obviously it's a bug on the page so I want to create that sort of leafy background so again they've got loads of different ones you can choose from and to make it a uh, full background you just want to go to oh this one hasn't got it some of them don't some of them you can't make backgrounds but most of them you can so you just want to go to the three dots and then um, set as background and like this one is set as the background so i've got the grass and also the sky in it so again all about the colors and the bold images so it's interesting for the viewer to watch so i'm just going to play around with the positioning of the words and just make sure it's how i want it and it's in the center it's quite cool because canva actually does it for you um adds lines where the center is and then i'm just going to play it so that's perfect and with music added to that or a little voiceover that will be really cool so you've got the front page that i did and then it goes into the little quiz what bug is this um so guys that's just a little and then you can just repeat on the next pages just put add a page and just add in loads of different bugs or animals and ask questions so it's like a little quiz and it's really pretty simple it's that easy um you've got all elements you can use you've got graphics photos you've even got video elements if you wanted to use um you know video clips you can add into your video if you wanted to make it a little bit more realistic you can actually add in sort of a background that's more like a photo such as this one where it looks like real life flowers um so there's so many um graphics you can use and so many ways you can create these videos on here so I'm not going to add any more pages because I think you kind of get the gist of how to do it hopefully and you've learnt something from this video. I hope this was kind of like an easy um, simple tutorial for beginners or if you just started using Canva and you want to create these YouTube shorts. Um, they have a lot of things you can do on here so it's so worth um, using Canva to create these type of videos. There is a Canva Pro option, which I think is worth it, but maybe use the free version until you're kind of used to using the platform and you're using it a lot, and then maybe upgrade it to the Pro version. Thanks for okay, watching the tutorial. The tutorial. I hope you learnt some things. If the tutorial was useful. Please let me know in the comments and give this video a like. They really go a long way. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to hit my thousand subscribers let me know if there's any more tutorials you would like me to do or to post on here but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video